Good morning, everybody. I'm in Daisen Machi. This is Mount Daisen. This, to me, I like to think of it as one of the most trendy or one of the trendier mountain towns in Japan. See behind me, this is where the street starts. There's a tourist information center right here, and you can get here by bus. There's a bunch of buses coming in here. The reason why a lot of people come here is because this is where they start their hiking trips. See a lot of people getting ready to hike through the autumn foliage to the top of Mount Daisen. It's really beautiful. And we got a perfect day today. But I thought before I go back to Tokyo today, I'd take you on a short trip around, around this town and, and take you up the street and, and show you a really, really cool coffee shop that I found um, called Inakaya, which is uh, just a couple hundred meters up there. Again, once again, this is the Tourist Information Center and they got a bunch of stuff in here that will help you. You can also rent bicycles from here. I thought that was pretty cool. There's a lot of stuff that you can do. There's Otsuka-san again. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. He's going to be following us. Up above is also a really trendy cafe. Um, I guess I could take you in there for a second. Hold on. This is fun. Yeah, this place is really trendy too. You can see quickly inside the Sunset Cafe. Well, all you can see right now is the glare, but... Um, I'm just gonna, oh, it's closed right now. Oh, that's too bad. So let's go up the street. I wanna show you some of the autumn colors and take you into a really cool tatami cafe. Yeah, we're gonna have some coffee in a really beautiful uh, place today that has a history. I like that, when, whenever a place has a history, you can see this is the best time of year to be here too. The weather's not too hot. All that humidity from the summer, gone. Behind me, you can see um, uh, Yonago City and um, Miho Bay. This is where, uh, I mean, we're at elevation right now. And what a stunning view. If I zoom in, you can see down there the bay and the city. So we're quite high up already. That's what makes this a mountain town. Now the ski slope, there's ski slopes all around here. What makes this place pretty cool for skiing is that as you're coming down the slope, now I haven't skied here, but this is what everyone told me. As you're coming down the slope, you're looking straight into the sea because the mountain is so close to the sea. It, it kind of is one of those only in this area type of thing. But I love this street. Every building has a history. Every building is really old, made of wood. All right, here's the cafe. So this is where I'm gonna show you, but I'm gonna take you up the street for a second. Look at the colors there. It's beautiful. And this cafe, it's got such a, a really long history. I'm just gonna take you up the street a little bit to show you uh, a little bit more of this town. Now this street, goes up to Daisenji, which is the, the main uh, shrine here. And I'm gonna highlight that in another Only in Japan video. Now Daisen is celebrating its 1,300th anniversary next year. So you're gonna see a, a lot of news, maybe some coverage about this area. It's kind of exciting because I started coming here when I rode the Sunrise Izumo train. A lot of you have been watching this show know about the Sunrise Izumo train. It's the last night train in Japan and it, it stops in this area. And that's when I discovered this place. <laughs> Even the post office is pretty scenic. That's the post office. There's some construction going on for the, the festivals in, in the summertime. This is a... Wow, and now you can see Mount Daisen. Yeah. This is an onsen, right? Right behind me is an onsen that you can go into. They also make tofu. That's what the steam is coming out. There's the onsen mark, you see? This right there means onsen. And this is free. This is a public foot bath. Now, there must have been hundreds of people's feet in here, but uh, there's always new water circulating, so it's not that bad. 
I actually ha I'm actually going back to Tokyo today. I don't have a lot of time, so I'm rushing a little bit. But just bear with me because uh, I, I I really do think this is this town. Four years ago, when I first came here, and now has gotten so much trendier. The shops are new. There's there's uh, more stores coming in. There's construction. Dark wood. Really quiet cafes. Smoky. Smoky atmosphere. People have fireplaces. Not smoky tobacco, but smoky like, you know, mountain stuff. It's pretty cool. So I'm gonna take you to the um, uh, to this coffee shop. Now this coffee shop has a really long history. I'll explain it to you when we get there. We're, it's just down this down the street here. Here you can see the steam coming out of the of the vents here. Does anyone know what they're what 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 this place is? It's they're making tofu. So I introduced tofu before. Um, this this also is an onsen, a, a bath, but they also make tofu. So what I smell right now is uh, uh, tofu. <laughs> it smells like tofu. All the ingredients in here in this area are fresh, and um, I think if you've been watching the live streams for the last uh, couple of weeks, you'll know that uh, there's a lot of vegetables here, a lot of farms. So all of the produce here is is or, uh, organic, fresh. I don't want to say organic, but it seems organic. There's a lot of um, chemicals. I spent some time on the farm with a 106-year-old farmer uh, named uh, uh, Tomiko, and she was born in the Meiji era. I'm, I'm doing an episode about this on the main Only in Japan channel, and she's been farming for like her entire life. So healthy, 106 years old and geeky. If you go to my Instagram, you'll be able to see a picture. I just posted it. Um, yesterday yeah but here we are this is the coffee shop that I want to take you into ah. thanks guys for the super chats I'll read them inside the cafe I appreciate that this is coffee written in kanji usually it's written in English <laughs> but I gosh I don't know I'm, I'm so excited I'm so stoked to take you into this place because right now this is the high this is the high season for the area. Look at the colors. Here's the sign. Inakia. Inakaya. 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 Country house. Country house. Thank goodness Otsuka-san is here. <laughs> See all the all the fall footed foliage is is starting to fall to the ground and it gives you the that smell of autumn is in here. I'm just gonna pan to the left here. Take a look at that. It's like a really quiet area in the woods, something that's out of a movie almost. You can see the, the beautiful trees have turned color, sp spots of red and green and yellow. You can sit outside if you want and have a, a cup of coffee, but these really nice old windows. You see now the cafe's open. All these really nice windows have bars there that you can sit and drink and sip coffee and eat Japanese snacks. It's really, really, um, quaint, very, very cozy inside. This place, though, has a history. It's actually a temple. This temple is quite old, but the, the owner of it has turned it into a cafe and a marketplace. You can see some of the statues here, of uh, Buddhist statues here. We call it Bukyo in Japanese, which is Buddhism. Beautiful. So we're going to go inside this uh, temple coffee shop all right here we go wow it's very nice inside very cozy sorry you have to put your shoes shoes away Sorry, the gimbal's going crazy. Look at the beautiful bar that they have here. He's sitting down getting a coffee. And you're treated to a wonderful countryside view. Over here on this side, there's also another bar. They also sell kaki. 
Again, these are uh, persimmons. Um, these are quite big ones. Wow. So let's take a look inside here. Um, oh, here is the uh, altar for the Buddhist temple. You can see. Check it out. It's quiet in here. But, uh, This, this back room is really special. It has a fireplace. Again, a lot of all these stuff here, I don't know if I mentioned it, but it's you can buy it. There's a price tag on everything, which is so cool. These vases, I think it's 3,000 yen. No, wait. Eh, no. Uh, this is 5,000 yen. Yeah, but you can see here, there's a table and a fireplace and lots of things, lots of things for sale here. And the connection is getting bad inside that area. I'm going to come back out. I apologize that the connection is not so good. It is very quiet in here. A lot of stuff on uh, for sale, antiques, things that you probably can't find anywhere else. That's sort of a, a really amazing, something that I really like about here. I love the design of the cups and the and the saucers for the cups. It's very Japanese. They even have clothes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, cute this ne. Yokai, it's a moment. Oh, yokai? Yokai. Wow. Yeah, there you go. There's a yokai on a, on a, on a grandma bag. <laughs> Isn't this place, this place is so cool. And I'm walking, I'm walking on Tatami right now. And, uh, there's a beautiful table here. There's some people just enjoying the wonderful countryside view. Wow, oh, very beautiful. Oh, so it's oh, okay. So I asked for a coffee, quick coffee. Look at these, these are all like these are all handmade. Two thousand five hundred yen, twenty five dollars. Very cute. You can hear the that sound of the door opening. Everything is really um, mm. You can also take a magazine if you like. Yeah, you better stay at the entrance here. Right. Oh, look, they got blankets. If you get cold, it's not really he the heat in these in these old buildings don't really retain well. Because the there's no insulation or anything like that, so it can get cold. <laughs> wow! Ah, oh, very nice. I love the colors of the trees outside the windows. <laughs> so thanks for the super chats. I appreciate them. So Vaughn Von asks, what's the most interesting thing that I've eaten? On this trip, I, I would say maybe the tofu donuts were pretty good. Um, there's a lot of really good food. Yesterday, yesterday I ate Daisen, um, I ate the Totori Wagyu, which is, it's like, a, I don't know, it says it's, it's a 
uh, Kuro Wagyu, uh, uh, the black cattle, it has the same kind of taste as um, Kobe beef, but it's not as weird. Ah, that's it. I ordered a coffee. Yeah. But the, the atmosphere here is just so good. Is that the menu? Menu. Oh. So I, I came in here before um before I started filming just to see if it was okay. And I asked permission to film in here and uh, I said I'm gonna come in and show show the place and have a coffee and I didn't really uh, know what specifically to ask for and otsuka san just showed me do they speak english sort of i mean enough that you can order a coffee if you order a coffee and they have um the menu that you just saw it's just a coffee shop with one dish pretty much you just point i'll have that and i i came here um with nhk staff when i was filming journeys in japan an episode uh for mount daisen in june I think it broadcasted in July a couple of months ago, but in that episode, we didn't we didn't show this coffee shop, but uh, that's not on the menu. <laughs> that's a burger. Dyson burger. I don't know, it looks good. I just got the coffee. I didn't know they had burgers. What kind of coffee shop is this place? <laughs> Alright, so I ordered the coffee. Let me just take you around a little bit more. Here's the front door that we came in. I love it. It has that rattling sound of the wood in the glass when you open it up. It's just such, it's one of those sounds that, um, here, listen. Ah, I love that sound. Yeah. Up here is the wood. All of it is old. Again, this used to be a temple, a Buddhist temple. There's the altar, and they've turned this place into a cafe. And uh, you can see the tatami, which has got the tatami smell to it. It's really fresh. This is the type of, you know, you know I, I do like Starbucks, but when you find a place like this, it's like Starbucks could never do anything like this until you, I saw the Kyoto one, which is in another episode. But this kind of place, a real temple, man, this is such a find. <laughs> I found you. <laughs> yeah. Right. It won't be too much longer now. Cat Neko, I wouldn't say it's like a Japanese Cracker Barrel. Um, I'd say more a temple cafe. <laughs> it's hard. The, you, you can't... Yeah, and uh, Florencia, I, I haven't been able to see the super chats too much, but I'm so happy for that. And um, coffee on me from Matt, thank you. And I saw there were some big ones in there. I'm going to go back and try to find them. I guess they disappear after a while. But, you know, if you do send me a super chat, at the end of each live stream, I will go back and copy and paste it and put in your questions and answer them. Uh, so definitely, I appreciate it because, man, um, it's nice to share this experience with you and be able to bring you live content like this from like tatami coffee shops and stuff like that. I mean, like that's so cool. I love the atmosphere in here. I feel like I'm supposed to be whispering. And you can see Otsuka-san in deep concentration. 
すごい集中してる。何考えてる<笑>いろいろ。日本のおもてなし。ああ、oh, yeah. !I didn't notice that! So, <laughs> you have slippers! So, you always have warm and toasty feet. はい。All that encompasses omotenashi, this really amazing word. And you might have heard it if you've been, if you've been seeing the internet.、They're, Japan's really pushing that word, omotenashi. But if, if, whenever you buy something, for example, you, you give them maybe a thousand yen and you get back change. They'll put their receipt on, underneath it and then they'll put the change on top of the receipt. And then they, they give it to you in a way that they don't actually touch you. That's, and you can, because it's on the receipt, you just dump it into a coin purse or something. It's like this little teeny thing that they do when they give you the change, but it's, it's part of that omotenashi, just that little teeny service in every single aspect of what they do. That's what makes,、um, to me, Japan really special and why that word omotenashi, you don't notice it, but it's there. And things like a slipper. What cafe? What, right? What cafe? Puts slippers on the ground for you to, to keep your war- feet warm in and puts blankets out for people. Now, some cafes do that, but they really went to the, to the next step and put slippers. And they're nice slippers, too. Ah, oh, look at the, there's like a breeze going by. Look at that. Every time the wind blows, leaves start falling from the tree. Wow. Matcha. Ah, you got matcha. Matcha, yeah, green tea, Japanese tea. Yeah. That's green, all right. <laughs> oh, so ka matcha no mehobe ne, kohi cha. And kore wa, cha to. And kore wa matcha, matcha wa nigai. Spesh nigai. So sweet. Ah, bitter. Nigai wa bitter. Yeah, yeah. 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 So the matcha is bitter tasting. But if you eat this with the cookies, it's sweet. sweet. Right. Ah, so that's a, it balances the taste. b a l a n c e it, isn't it? Nice taste. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> Once again, for everyone watching, this is my last day in Totori Prefecture in, in, in、uh, Daisen area. I, I wanted to come before I go to the airport. To this area in particular, because next year, which is just in a couple of months, they're gonna start the celebrations for their 1300th anniversary. I can't even wrap my head around how big that number is, but you can see the steps of the shrine. They, they built it 1300 years ago with rocks, and it's still, it's still all here today. It's like you know, going to Europe and seeing the castles, but man, I mean, things are in pretty good shape here.、Um, What I like about Dyson, though, and this town is that it's, it's, it used to be kind of old and run down. I'll be honest with you. It had, that, it had that charm to it, but over the last couple of years, they've started to change. The shops on the street that I showed you early on, if you're just joining me, you'll be able to see it later on in the stream. It, that street leads up to the shrine to Daisenji.、Um, and then up there,、uh, you know, you can see a lot of the history. It's about a 15 minute walk up really. Big cobblestones, you know. I mean, they're big because、um, they made it 1300 years ago. But down on the base is this town, this really cute town. Ah! Oh! They put the coffee, it's not in a mug, but it's in a cup. Wow! You know, that, that's kind of cool because you feel the heat of it. It's not too hot, but you feel what you're eating. Oh, look at that lady's taking a picture. <laughs> Gotta get the right angle. So here's the coffee. Oh man, I need this. It's, I've been up really early. I got up at, at six, six o'clock this morning. What is this? 
It's like you chew on the stylus. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Whoa, that's awesome. I like how they give you these spoons. Look at this. It's all wood. Whoa, what is this? All right, let's try this thing. Ah, it looks like potato. Mmm. Sweet potato. Oh man, this is so good. Sweet potato. You gotta take off your shoes. Alright, let's drink this coffee. I actually have to go to the airport. You got no money now, you <laughs> yeah, and the shop's getting crowded. When we came, there's nobody here. Oh man, that's why they've they figured out the taste. So the coffee, the matcha is more bitter than the coffee. So the sweets are sweeter. The uh, sweet potato, it's not that sweet. It's it's just. I mean, there's no there's a little bit of sugar on it, but it's not that sweet. It's naturally sweet. The coffee is naturally bitter, but not that bitter. Together, they're really balanced. Where the matcha is even more bitter, they balanced it out with even sweeter food. That's something that I didn't realize until now. Oh, it's so good. Wow. Look at the steam coming out of that. It's beautiful. So they've taken yaki imo, the sweet potato, satsuma imo, and they've made satsuma imo to show. Maybe, maybe satsuma imo. So maybe satsuma imo. <laughs> wow. Oh man. So good. I mean, just this place is worth coming to Dyson for. Just chill. They got lots of really cute um, hotels and ryokans around here as well. So you definitely stay here. Ski season is also, they got ski slopes. Oh man. I'm coming back here in the summer too, because they're, they're doing the Torch Festival. If you watch the NHK, I'll put a link to the NHK show. It's on video de video on demand, but I'll put a link there and you can see what uh, uh, what this place looks like in the summer. Because the, they, they did a we did a pretty good job making that episode, I think, if I don't say so myself. Oh man. I need that coffee. Hmm. Once again, the view. Very, very nice. <laughs> Alright, if you have any questions about Mount Dyson or the area, um, I'm looking at the screen. I'm going to take the next couple of minutes to try to answer some of your questions. I see Peter here is bothering us with the live stream. Uh, Peter and I have been talking, we might redo the uh, uh, Google, uh, YouTube, ac uh, I don't know if they accidentally did it, but they deleted two of my videos. One of them was one that Peter and I did. We spent an hour, right, Peter? We spent an hour making that thing. Uh, uh, Professor Dow, thank you, John, for sharing all your experiences with the world. You bring such amazing content about Japan to us. Keep doing this for years to come. Oh, man. Professor Dow, thank you so much. I will absolutely keep making stuff uh, for everybody to watch. I just released a video on Obama. Uh, Japan, which I thought was pretty unique. It's not a political video, but kind of highlighting the area. And uh, next month, I'm going to be in Fukushima Prefecture, uh, driving in a car uh, from onsen, from ryokan to ryokan, to show you a more traditional side of Japan. So a side of Fukushima, besides you know all the problems that are going on that you've you've never uh, seen before, and that's what I want to show you. Thank you so much for that, Tom Higgins. Thank you so much. I like the unrounded number. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. What does it smell like in the temple? None, none of you like. There's, 
Actually, it smells like coffee. <laughs> it smells like coffee, but、uh, there are some incense. So it's it's temple-y, temple temple like smell. Some incense. It smells like tatami. Some of the wood.、Uh, tatami, which is like a, a like a fresh hay smell, and then the, in the, some light incense from the tunnel,、uh, from the、uh, temple. In there. So that's what I smell. Wonder how the coffee would be with some fresh soy milk that you had. I wonder too.、Um, that was really good.、Um, it's not Professor Dell. It's Professor Dell. <laughs> Just want to correct cheesy popcorn.、Uh, digging the longer stays. Thanks, Tom. Yeah, you know I think my kids and I are living them. Yeah, I, I think when you live in a place, you can start to feel the atmosphere,、uh, get to know the people, build trust with people, and then you can get really great stories. Like if you've been following on Instagram, you'll see I just posted a picture of a 83-year-old. Priest at a Shinto. He owns a Porsche. Porsche. Like 83 years old. Oh, 83 years old. 83 years old. He's 83. At Otsuka san no tomodachi. He's 83 years old. He owns a Porsche, and I got to drive around in, in the Porsche with him, which was like a surreal experience to have a, you know, 86 year old, 83 year old guy. But people in this area really live life, and that's.、Um, That that was good for me to see. That's that's one of the things why I came here to to see why people live so long in Japan and why, especially in this area, people are quite happy. Um, um, Arun Meng, I've recorded for the main channel. I've recorded two episodes that'll be coming out next month. The temple's pretty big. I'll I'll um I'll take you outside if if we have time to show you. Ah, so I'm done. Okay. Hi. Just come back here. It's gotten a little bit crowded, so. Oh man, it's so good. Okay. Ah, 本当すみません。That sounds awesome. Omotenashi. I'll, 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 I'll get him something. We'll, we'll, t- we'll take care of him. Okay, we're gonna take care of him. Take care of our friends, right? <laughs> take care of the people around you, right? That's the best way. The hardest part for me is never. Never bring hiking boots、um, <laughs> in Japan. It's really hard. I just go like this. It's easy to get you. Zero. Ah, good summer, de shita. Sometimes I wonder why I gave you my phone number, Peter. Yeah, who, did you just call me? I didn't just call you. You called me. You t- attention grabbing, <laughs> pain in the <laughs> neck.、Oh. Hey, I found I found a statue that looks just like you. Really? Like was it、uh, David from、uh, Florence? No,、Italy? but it looks it looks pretty similar to you. In a way. Can you show me? Well, where, where, you have to watch the show. Which one? I don't know. The live one or one you're gonna make? From- well, you're gonna have to figure it out, Peter. <laughs> I'm like, we're streaming live. <clears throat> well, I'm coming back to Tokyo, so I guess I'll be. We'll we'll catch up in a couple of days. Yeah, sounds good.、Um, what are you bringing back for me? Um, some some. Airborne diseases I caught along the way. No, 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 no. I don't know.、Uh, I'll, I'll see if I can find something for you at the airport. How's that? Okay, that'd be nice.、Um, there was some mention of tofu donuts, perhaps. Yeah, they spoil in like six hours.、Um, <laughs> they don't put any preservatives <laughs> in it, dude.、Um, but right, I, we'll I'll see what、that. I can. I'll see what I can find. How's、okay. the weather in Tokyo? It is beautiful today. Yeah, it's nice here too. Awesome, awesome, and it's a holiday today. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, me neither. And I don't have any idea what holiday it is and who 
Culture day. Bunka no hi, desho. Bunka no hi. Bunka no hi. Oh, how how apropos, because you are like a bunka guy. You, you travel around Japan searching out cool bunka. I do my best. I try. <laughs> we all appreciate it. All right, Peter. Well, thanks well, for calling. Thank you. I don't, but... It's nice that? to. It's nice to hear from you. Thanks for calling. <laughs> you're cutting me. You're cutting me off already. I am because I gotta look. All right, everybody, take a look up here before I leave. I just wanted to show you one last thing, and it's not Peter. Uh, hang on, let me let me just say it. I'll let you go. All hashtag, right, go ahead and say it. Hurry hash, up. Hashtag John is a mean guy. John is a mean guy. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye. All right, I just hung up on him. But <laughs> here, you can see these are cocky. I, I showed you in the store earlier. What they do is they hang them outside the window or somewhere in the sun and they eventually dry over the course of, of about Sanshukangurai? So, so Sanshukangurai. And then they get dry and you can see on the end there, some of them are, are getting close to the end. That That's called a hoshigaki. And these hoshigaki, they taste like candy. They're so sweet. It's something that I, I just want to highlight it because if you come to this area, you're going to want to try a hoshigaki and it's only available in the fall. These are the kaki dried. They're in the middle of the stage. It becomes dried fruit and it's so good. I ate some of them a couple of days ago, uh, a few, it was it last week? In the rain when we did the tofu donut episode at, at the end. Uh, um, that might have been Instagram only. Sometimes I get lost when I'm doing, yeah. Yeah, I want to talk to Peter, but you know, I'm working here. <laughs> I'm working here. I got uh, Otsuka-san here, and we're gonna be taking. Uh... Oh, we got some hikers. Oh, chojo made ikimasu ka? Chojo made ikimasu ka? Ikanai ne. Oh wow. Sorry, the video footage kind of froze there. I was asking them. Yeah, I was asking those people. Sorry about that for those who are watching. I was asking those people if they're going to the summit of Mount Daisen, which you can see right here. Okay, this is really funny. There's the summit of Mount Daisen, all right, right there. People start the hiking course here, and then I asked those people, are you going to the summit in Japanese? Chojo made ikimasu And they were like looking like us. They're Korean, they're, they're tourists from Korea. So of course they didn't speak any Japanese, but uh, I'm going to the airport now. Last time at Daisen uh, for this year, so I'm really happy to have had the time to come to this town, this really beautiful town in the peak of the, of the autumn season. Look at the colors, right? Now I'm on the air, off to the airport. I might do another live stream from the airport if, if I have some time, but thank you so much for the super chats. Thank you for the support. Thank you for following this trip for the last two weeks in Totori Prefecture, here in Daisen in particular. Um, I'm really excited about this place. I'll be back, but before that, I'll be in Tokyo. So see you again from the other side of Japan. Everybody, thank you so much.